Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, Yon Greg B, and today we are finishing up, finally finishing up, the Series 1 1996 Tops Major League Baseball Hobby Box. we got one more stack of nine packs to go with 12 cards per pack. Uh, we're still looking for a couple more inserts that we haven't found yet, and obviously Stars Hall of Famers, only rookies we're looking for, Sean Casey and I guess Mark Bellhorn. Um... But if you haven't seen the previous ones, head on up there, check those out, then head on down below. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, share it with everyone in the entire world, and then hit the thumbs up, because I know you're going to like this video. Head on down in the comments and say hi. Doesn't, all you got to do is say hi. That's cool. Whatever. And then uh, check out my links in my description for my blog, my podcast, and all my other social media. All right, let's dive into this. We got nine more packs to go. Nine more packs to go. So, uh, yeah, so we've gotten some decent cards out of this. There's nothing major to really find, but we already got our Mystery Finest. We got a Profiles last time out. We got a Power Booster already. We've gotten a few Mickey Mantles. We might still find one or two. I, don't, I haven't really been keeping count necessarily. We should still get another Profiles one as well. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky and beat the odds or something. I don't know. But um, rip on in to this pack. Uh, starting things off with one LeBron, not not Carlos Beltran, <laughs> Kareem Garcia. Uh, we all know what uh, Pedro Martinez feels about Kareem Garcia, but uh, he was a future star back in 1996. Uh, Todd Tony uh, Tony Phillips, I should say, not Todd Phillips. He did The Hangover and Old School and varying other movies. Uh, Brent Gates, Hal Morris. Uh, then we got Chris Gomez, uh, the Joker. I should say, actually, Todd Phillips did the Joker as well. I guess that's more relevant and recent. Tor Troy, really. Troy Troy O'Leary, if I could actually talk. Tim Belcher. We got Randy Myers. Uh, to Tomas Perez. Walt Weiss. And Rob Nen. Rounding things out. So nothing really to call home about. Although I am home. So I don't know who I'd, what I just call, call out. Hey, home, I got a Rob Nen card. Nope, no, not going to do that. <laughs> uh, Jeff Bagwell, star power card. I think we've gotten plenty of Jeff Bagwells out of this box. Jim Doherty. Uh, then we got Sid Roberson. Following up with Rod Beck. A little, sticking in a little bit to Kenny Rogers. Then we got Bob Abreu. Bobby Abreu, whatever you want to call him. Steve Gibraltar. Uh, uh, Triple A's stars. Ben Davis. Um, Mark Grace, Curtis Goodwin, Otis Nixon, and Duhar Cedeno, and Tim Wakefield rounding things out. Look at his numbers from 1995. They were pretty, pretty good. Well, actually, they weren't as good as I thought they were. I just remember him coming in and being really good. <laughs> but looking, that, looking back at those numbers, maybe he wasn't all that great. I don't remember. I just remember he was kind of a big deal in 1995. But I guess it was a strike short in rear. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. Jason Giambi, future star. Todd Helton, he's a draft pick. So this one's a weird one because it's not his rookie card because he had a 19... I think it was 93 tops traded USA team card. But this is really kind of his rookie card, so it's kind of cool. I don't know. At least his first card in the main line of tops, anyways. Uh, Rusty Greer, then we got Vinny Castillo, and sticking a little bit to Glen Allen Hill. Then we got Ron Gantz, Joe Girardi, Ellis Burks. Now, what was it, 96? Yeah, I think 96 was the year he had ridiculous numbers. Um, so, obviously, he's not going to have the stats because this was the year that that happened. Mike Mims, Terry Pendleton, Todd Zeal, rounding things out there. Um, just remember Todd Zeal was supposed to be a big deal, and it didn't quite work out. He still had a decent career, let's, I mean, you know, he played for a number of years. I mean, to do that on that level uh, is, uh, you know, nothing to shy, be, you know, shy away from or whatever, but, um, you know. Anyways, Doug Drayback, he, Heath, Cliff, Heath, wow, I cannot speak. Heath Cliff Slocum uh, on the Phillies. I guess this was before he moved over to the Red Sox and eventually got traded to the Mariners for Lowe and Valentin. No, not Valentin. I'm sorry. Lowe and Veritech. All right, we got the Mickey Mantle followed up by Mickey Mantle. Now, this one's the regular card 
set in the card, and this one's a commemorative uh, reprint. Sticky a little bit. Um, this is 1964 uh, commemorative card. Uh, Mark Gubazza. Yeah, I'll never get that right. Tony Sbo. SB Another drug, Drabeck, for whatever reason. Paul Mahler, Hall of Famer. Cam Caninetti was a former MVP. Uh, passed away, unfortunately. Uh, Carlos Perez and Todd, Stod oh, Todd Stoudemire sticking with Gary Sheffield. Some people think Gary Sheffield might take the Hall of Fame. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. He had some good years, don't get me wrong. Had a batting title back in 1992 for the Padres, but I don't know if he's Hall of Fame worthy or not. Questionable, questionable. Uh, but, you know, maybe he might make it. All right, moving on. Next pack as we uh, get to the final packs of this hobby box. The next week we'll move on to Series 2. Um, Tim Sh uh, Jim Schrerer. Then we got, ooh, Derek Jeter. I haven't gotten this one yet. A future star card, so that's cool. Um, sort of Hall of Famer, kind of Hall of Famer. Like, he'll definitely be in the Hall of Fame, but he got he got elected but hasn't been enshrined yet because of, obviously, all the nonsense of 2020 going on. Um, I mean, the virus, obviously. Omar Vizquel. Uh, then we got uh, Travis Fryman and Sean Berry. Bobby Jones. Mark McLemore. Mike Messina is a Hall of Famer. Alex Fernandez. Mark Wollers. John, there's John Valentin. That's why I was thinking Valentin earlier. Obviously, yeah. Too. And Julian Tavares. All right, moving on. We got uh, Barry Bonds, star power card. Um, questionable if they'll ever make the Hall of Fame, but we'll see. Bobby Higginson. John Franco. Then we got David Segui, Travis Fryman, and the Cal Ripken um, commemorative card of when he broke Lou Gehrig's record for consecutive games played. It's a cool one. Obviously, Cal Ripken's a Hall of Famer. Mark Bellhorn, he is, that's a cool rookie card, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I like Mark Bellhorn. Don't get me wrong. He helped the Red Sox win the World Series back in 2004. Had a bunch. I think he had home runs in like three consecutive games or something crazy like that. But uh, Mark Lemke, Manny Alexander, Todd Pagnozzi, uh, Olivio Veras, and Alex Diaz rounding things out there. All right, moving on. We only got a few more packs to go. Dustin Hermanson, uh, Jeff Kent. Is there something else sticking here? Nope. I guess not. Uh, Mike Lansing. See, the bottom of the, the the packs that are in the bottom. I don't know what it is. Mark Gubiza. I will never get that right. Checklist. Butch Husky, Eric Owens, AAA stars, Mike Fetters, and Mike McFarland. Kurt Abbott, JT Snow, Tomas Perez, Brett Boone. Two more packs to go. Still looking for that second Profiles card. Because you're supposed to get one... Actually, you're supposed to get one in 12. So I should have three. I've only gotten one, I think, so far. So hopefully these last two packs both have a Profiles card in it. Because otherwise, tops, I'm coming for you. From years ago. Um, Alright, we got uh, Al Martin, Corey Jenkins, Chris Hollies. And Ask and You Shall Receive. Hold on, we'll, don't spoil it yet. Robert, Roger Pavlik. Couple of cards sticking together. Oh, Cal Ripken, that's a good one. Uh, Dave Stevens. And our profile card is Cecil Fielder. Sticking to uh, Scott Louis. Uh, Cecil Fielder, obviously, he had a kind of up and down career. He started off with the Blue Jays, then he went to Japan, then he came back and was a big name for the Tigers, then he bounced around, ended up with the Yankees at one point. Um, I forget where else he went, but maybe just the Yankees. I don't remember. Then he kind of retired. Um, sort of early. I, I don't know. Edgardo Alfonso, Tony Tarasco, Otis Nixon, and Darren Dalton round out that pack. And we're down to the final pack. It should have a Profiles card in it. If it doesn't, we failed the odds as we've only gotten two so far. One today, one in a previous video. 
Uh, but this is going to wrap things up for this box. It's been fun. I mean, you know, I, I didn't know anything about 1996, like, tops. Like, if you if you put this in front of me and said, name the year, I would have had no idea. Uh, I don't think I have any of these cards in my in my collection. I don't think I've ever seen any of these cards, to be honest with you. But I do like them. Cool. Nice design. You know, nothing over the top, but, like, good enough to get the job done. The backs are fun. You know, you... you I don't know that you need the extra little picture there, but whatever, it's fine. All right, we got Larry Walker, who's in the whole in the same boat with Derek Jeter of they they were elected to the Hall of Fame, but aren't have been trying yet because of you know COVID. Uh, Carlos Brig, Bayerga, ba 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 Rod Beck, uh, sticking a little bit to Brent Gates. We got all Roger Clemens and another Jeff Bagwell. <laughs> This has been the Jeff Bagwell box. I'm telling you, this is the second Jeff Bagwell por profiles uh, that we've got. And we also, the Mystery Finest was Jeff Bagwell. So it's it's just been a Jeff Bagwell kind of box, I guess. I don't know. Who's a Hall of Famer, so don't get me wrong. It's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, still. I like the little bit more variety, I suppose. Uh, Mike, Green, uh, Mike Greenwell, uh, John Burkett, uh, Felix Fermin. Mike Mims, and we round things off with the Hall of Famer, John Smoltz, and that weird crouching on deck card with the UPN ad in the back, which, whatever, cool. Um, all right, everyone, that, thank you for watching. That's going to wrap up Series 1 for 1996 Tops next week. Come back, and uh, we'll do Series 2. We'll start off on Series 2, but go check out my other videos. Uh, go check out some of the other sports that I'm opening up stuff from. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and thank you. Subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Go check out my blog podcast podcast is fun it's long-winded but it's fun i like to talk a lot if you couldn't tell from these videos but anyways thank you everyone for watching uh come back tomorrow and every other day and next week and all that fun stuff thank you for watching and i'll talk to you next week have a great day i'll talk to you tomorrow i'll talk to you every day every day uh become have a great day